I'm Kevin Mamajek, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. Okay, before we can start to do any type of analytics, we need some data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, some test data using a analytic tool called a numeric history simulator. It's actually kind of undocumented, but it actually works great. I'm going to use it for this video to kind of get some data going. And then uh, I also use it to create some missing data for bad uh, meter reads. And we'll talk about that in a subsequent video. So first thing I need uh, to do is bring out a numeric schedule and I'll call this my test data. And this is just a schedule, a numeric schedule. So I'll just open that up and I can go in here and start to paint what I want my re meter reads to be. And let's say this is uh, 50. So the goal here is um, I want to uh, paint how my meter should be read. This is kind of like the baseline for that time period, for that day of the week and for that uh, time period. So from you know midnight to 6 a.m., 35, then office kind of kicks in gear and that will go to 6 p.m. So energy might be, you know, 75, uh, this tiny building. Um, come back here and drop it down to 35. I'm just going to go ahead and do that across there and then Saturday we'll we'll do something actually we'll just copy and paste that day all right so that again is just putting the baseline in for my data when the meter reads this will be the baseline now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this numeric history simulator and how you do that is you need to uh, add a slot to that so I'm going to go to the slot sheet I'm going to go and um, essentially create a new slot. You bring up analytics as the type and then pop that list up, hit N. I'm going to go down to numeric history simulator. So that's all I have to do to add that uh, component. Now if I go back and we bring up the property sheet, you'll see that we have this new slot and you can come over here and I'll just rename that to be, I always forget to give it a name. Um, it's in the field before I actually hit enter and we'll just call this um, energy data. Okay. Now um, you're going to see two things. When I create the history, it's going to grab the schedule, which is what I wanted you to see. And then there's this new schedule or history simulator called energy data. Okay, I can at any time click on that and have an action of rebuilding the history. So if I change any of the things down here, that's important to note. So all you have to do is enable this. Um, I won't enable it. I'm going to fill it out first. So I have 12 months of, of history. So if you want two years, we'll do 24. Um, the cool thing about this is it gives you January through December multipliers. So whatever you're simulating, this is might be energy, I might have gas heat. So this might be um, my multiplier for January and February. It's, um, we'll do 0.75, right? Uh, March might be 0.35. Uh, let's come down here into July and that will be 1.2. I'm going to use more three September might start to drop again but you get the idea you can create these um, monthly swings in energy for your test data now when you look at this these are the multipliers for the individual months I then have the ability to do a even or odd year so now if I want my odd year to be odd and really stand out if I give it a multiplier by two it will follow the monthly and then it will follow the odd or even so this way you can get some pretty drastic swings in your data to actually see how your analytics are uh, charting so keep those in mind uh, then all you have to do is come up with the random chance so this is kind of setting it up that I'm going to give it a 60% chance to roll the dice to be random. And then I'm going to say when it does hit that random um, cue from that 60%, it's going to do it plus or minus 25% of what those values are in the schedule based on the multipliers of the month or the even or odd year. Okay. And then if you look, it's going to 
create this history based upon that schedule. So the history will be test data. So all I have to do is uh, save that, enable it, and then it will automatically go out and create a history file for me with all kinds of swings, right? So I can say, you know, what was last year's data? What is this year's data? Year to date, right? So I've got a, a data set now that I can begin to work with. And that's the data set. We'll, we'll do some example queries in the next video. So this is just kind of setting it up. I'll do a missing data um, strategy maybe next in the next one. We'll see. But this will set you up for uh, doing basic queries.